Hey, so I thought I would do a review of some of these um, these Zanbungo figures. These are the High Metal R line from Bandai. Um, I'm gonna start here with this. This this is called the Brockery type. This is one of the um, I guess you could say the the antagonist mechs in the show. Um, so let's see. We'll start with the box here. You see, it's a pretty cool picture there. You got the mech itself and the land ship. Got a little pose on the side there. Got some other poses back there. Obviously everything's in Japanese. Um, yeah, pretty cool though. Showing off, I guess you can say, some of the gimmicks. You got another picture over there. Oh, you know, you got your... Same idea. Top. Bottom. There you go. So we'll get that out of the way. Yeah, so this is the figure right here. Pretty cool. Very simple. You know, he doesn't have any transformations or anything, but um he is cool for what he is. Lots of detail on the guy. Got a lot of weight on him. Get maybe a side view here. Pretty cool looking all around. Back. Other side. Front. I did have to put some of these guns, like these turrets in. These need to be placed in. They come separately in the tray. Um, same thing with these antennas, which those were a little bit of a pain to get in. Um, I'll show you here. This head will open up. And you have your cockpit in there. Um, the problem with this is as soon as you pull this up, you see that? See these antennas are going to start coming right out. So yeah, these can be a little bit of a pain. While that's up, I'll show you. You can see inside. You have your seats there, which are real cool. Let's see if we can get these guys back in here. There we go. So that's in there. Yeah, once you have that closed, it'll hold that. But um, yeah, those are a little bit of a pain. Um, very delicate, but they do give you extras. I have the tray I can show you. You see you have your extra turret in there. There's your two antennas and a bunch of different hands that you can swap out. So in case you do end up losing or breaking those, which I think I almost lost one of those antennas actually right out the box. Uh, you do have the extra ones there for you. So there he is. Um, you got his, show his uh, rifle here a little bit. This um, clip will actually come out. So you can pull that in and out. It's pretty cool. thought this tripod was pretty cool because this comes down. Let's get a good look at that there. Excuse me that back up and if you notice this uh, little yellow piece here this will actually open up if I can get it it is there we go it's pretty tight now we can pull this gun out now this will actually hold plug right back here we can close this up and look at that pretty cool right you can hold the gun there goes that. I don't think I got that antenna in all the way actually. Hopefully it'll stay for now. It's usually not that shaky once you have this plugged. There we go. So you can see that. thought that was a pretty cool feature there. Let's put that gun back in his hand. Oops. Now we can show off some of his articulation here. Uh, we got the head, which will go up and down. You see that little piece there, which is allowing it to be pulled up. Um, you can go, you got your 360 movement here. Let me see if that camera probably adjusts this a little bit better. Let me move him a little closer. There we go. The arm will go around 360 up and down goes about that high and then you know that's gonna block it the chest area there you can 
just spin this the way around. You got your elbow joint, which will go up to there. I mean, that alone, you get a pretty cool pose out of that. Oops. And then you got your, your hand, which was on the ball joint. Again, those can be swapped out. The turret will go up and down. Let's see if I can fix this. Uh, yeah, the antenna, again, it's not usually not that loose. I think I got it now a little bit better to where it's holding it. Yeah, the turret will go up and down. Just like that. Your legs. Pick it up about that far before it gets blocked by the arm. Same thing. It'll go about as far as you can get before it gets blocked by the, the fan there. Knee will bend about that far. You got a little bit of foot movement here. The foot will go up and down. Not really too much side to side movement. Your waist is a little stiff going, well you get a little bit of movement left and right. Um, but you can go down, up and down here. The fan, you can spin that. I thought that was pretty cool. Just like that. So yeah, again, he's a pretty simple guy. Which is why I decided I would start with this one. Um, you know, he had those transformations. But, you know, that's what he is in, in the show, obviously. But he's still, he's really cool, you know. I, I just wanted to show some of these guys because I feel like these guys are a little, I would say, maybe obscure over here. And um, I think if you're into these sort of, these mechas, that these ones are definitely worth looking at. You know, I like, I just, I get a kick out of their little quirky designs. It is a more lighthearted show. And, um, you know, the videos, the pictures, they never really do these guys complete justice. I mean, to when you're looking, compared to when you're looking to, looking at them with your own eyes and just the amount of detail you get. I mean, you could just kind of stare at these guys for hours. Pretty incredible. Um, yeah, I paid about, I think, $65 for this. So I think he's around that range, $60, 60 to $70. Um, I do think, again, if you're a fan of these sort of things, I think he, he's definitely worth looking at. Um, I'll probably keep this review a little short, I guess. Um, this is my first time reviewing one of these. But I will probably get to the other guys as well. I have um, three other figures from the Zambungle um, series that were released by High Metal R that I can um, maybe show those guys. So, um, yeah, for now, I guess I'll, I'll see you next time.